Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Edna and Harvey. Last time, we met even uh, more of the guests here. And our main goal right now is to get tickets to the laundry list. Could you please turn off the lights before you go? Oh, yeah, I Do forgot. it yourself. Uh, sorry, I, I was going to do that. Oh, well. So I believe uh, we want to go across here. Because she's having a birthday party for... Uh... Oh, wrong room. Right here, wasn't it? No? Wait a minute. Am I crazy? I, I just played this yesterday and I'm already forgetting where everything is. So that was the bathroom. Oh, was it in that back room? Oh, there were three there were several back rooms, weren't there? There was this, and then there's the bar, and then back there. Okay. I'm an idiot. Alright. So I wonder if we can mention the party to him. Hey, you. Petra's having a surprise party for you in the bathroom. I know. Don't you want to go? I think she went out of her way to do it. Not even wild horses could drag me there. Why do you think I'm hiding here? Petra, with her constant high spirits, is more annoying than a bag of crab lies. At least crab lice keep their mouths shut. Jeez. I'd better leave you alone in your despair. Right. Why should anyone want to keep me company? You're right. I don't know either. <laughs> well, uh, unless you go, then this guy can't help us. So, uh, let's force him into the bathroom. With some bean dip. I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. Just drinks it. <laughs> and there he goes. All right. Hey, buddy. Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? A grog. A grog, please. We don't serve that anymore. What happened? Funny story. There was this guy who found out the stuff eats through metal. He used it to melt the bars of the railings out front. Sounds like he was quite the daring adventurer. <laughs> yeah, kind of a nice guy. Of course, he was completely nuts like everybody else in here. Wanted to become a pirate or something. Too bad about him. Why? Did he escape? I'm afraid not. Dr. Marcel broke both his shins. Then he locked him up in a cell where he starved miserably. Oh. Okay, that started off as a reference to Monkey Island, then got darker. <laughs> Jeez. Barkeep? Of course. A coffee, please. It's not on the menu. Uh, okay. Barkeep? Of course. A glass of water, please. It's not. Oh. Barkeep? Of course. A biggity buggity boo, please. It's not. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just going to keep Barkeep? saying that. Of one walkthrough, please. <laughs> yeah, you would like one of those, wouldn't you? It's not on the menu, though. Ah. Uh, so, of course, uh, on the menu. Oh, you just have to look at menu. There's only one choice available. Stinky drink. Yep. Man, this barkeeper has the worst chicken scratch since Bruce Lee. <laughs> Bruce Lee had the tiger claw, Edna. No wonder you couldn't read it. Okay. I don't know why we picked up the menu, but we can. Barkeep? Of course. A stinky drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. But what's that funky smell? Did somebody die suddenly? Hmm. So we get the drink and the straw. Oh, that's, that's not the drink, that's the earwax. That's the drink. We don't want to use the straw on the earwax. That would be unfortunate. Strawbert Strawson, what have you done to your neck? Good grief. The whole accordion? <laughs> I love it. Anyway, let's uh, have a drink. I must be crazy. Ugh. Are you all right? Edna, say something. The natives have surrounded the fort, Colonel. <laughs> Phew, thank 
god. Everything back to normal. How was the drink? So-so. Well, at least you finished it. Yes, I had to destroy it. Something as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left the fly. The what now? Yeah, we got a fly. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's talk to fly. Hello, little friend. How's things on the other side? Ah, oh, that's it. Well, there's something you want to do. Earwax. Wax-like and amber-colored. Amber, huh? Well, remember what that doctor was saying about, uh, dinosaur DNA in amber resin? Well, we don't have a mosquito, but we have a fly. This is kind of lateral thinking, but... I could press the fly into the earwax. That sounds good to my ears! So why don't we just do it? <laughs> it resembles a mosquito that's been enclosed in tree resin. And that was the goal. All right. So uh, let's go see how Peter's doing. Oh, <laughs> that's uncomfortable. Are they sitting on the urinals? I hope that's not where he headed to, to, uh, go after the bean dip. How cute! I'm a real matchmaker, aren't I? How happy they look! <laughs> that is cute. I'd rather not disturb them. I'm sure they want to be left alone. Alright. Anyway, before we go, let's, uh, grab some chips. Shink. She doesn't care anymore. She's got who she wants. And that is all that matters. Let's go back to Professor Nock. So we can give him uh, that quote-unquote dinosaur DNA. Let's see, right through here. Earwax with the professor. I've got something for you. Oh, I can't believe it. Dino DNA embedded in amber like it should be. This is exactly what I need for my dino breeding program. <sighs> May I keep it? What will you give me in return? Hmm. Well, the only thing I can give you is my ticket for the laundry lift. After all, I no longer need to travel to my Peruvian amber mines. Do we have a deal? Done deal. This is supposed to be a ticket? That's just a coat hanger. Really? Are you my ticket to freedom? Hmm. But it says number three, but unfortunately that's not the right ticket because we need ticket number two. I believe uh, this guy actually has ticket number two. But he doesn't seem to think of it as a ticket, he just thinks of it as some sort of conduit. So Excuse it wouldn't me, mind please? having another, would he? Yes, my child. Do you really need this coat hanger for your weather experiment? I've got one here that's at least as good. Aha. Uh -huh. And now you'd like to swap. That would be nifty. Well, if it makes you happy. Thank you. You're a real friend. All right, we got our ticket. So now, we can move a bit more freely like we could before. I've got my ticket. And may I see it? Very well. You may pass. Yay. <laughs> a good-natured gentleman. And laundry detergent commercial white, too. The so next exit is approaching. Lives here. Oh. And do we just automatically get off? Okay. 
I want to talk Here to Mr. Here we Brock. go. Hello over there. Oh, a new neighbor. Who are you? I am Mr. Frock, of course. <laughs> Strange name, that. It is meant for a human, but I am a... A frock. I get it. Oh, no, not at all, you flatterer. I am merely a coat. Oh, there's a strong umbrella, by the way. Don't tell me you live here. Why not? This lift offers a lot of convenience for a piece of apparel like me. And... What convenience exactly would that be? Well, there's this rail where you can put coat hangers. And it's dry. We clothes are very absorbent, you know. I see. Okay. Where's this lift going? I can't answer that, I'm afraid. There are three exits in total. One of them is the laundry in the basement. You get a great view from there. Unfortunately, I forget where the other two exits lead. Why? How long have you been hanging up here? <laughs> they used to call me Mr. Toga. <laughs> wow, you are exceptionally white. What do you use? Astonishing, isn't it? I'm very proud of my colorlessness. I used to be beige. But there's not a lot of light in here, so the pigments left. Out of boredom. Ah, uh, I gotcha. Are there any moths in here? Don't frighten me. What makes you think that? Have you seen anything? I had a feeling just now of something moving in the shadows. Oh, that. Those are just wolf spiders. Oh, there are okay. lots of them in here. But moths? Now, that would be a disaster. My fabric is so delicate. I should get a lot of wolf spiders at where I live. Isn't the next exit due soon? I have the same feeling that time has slowed down while we were talking. Oh, here it is. All right, but uh, is this where I want to get off? I'd break every bone in my body if I did that. Oh, I can't get off here. So I think if you just uh, talk Hello? to. Hello. Oh, isn't the? I have that. Oh. Okay, so you talk to him and you go right away to the next stop. But uh, where we want to go is where I ended up first. Hello? Oh! Isn't the- I have the- Oh! Alright. So, uh, let's look around. The guys from the laundry have packed this pretty well. Hmm. So soft. I wonder if they used Fuzzy Soft Ultra. No! More like irradiated with a thousand Tesla of gamma rays! Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we already did that, didn't I? We've been here. Oh, well. Can I ride on it? I can! Can I mess it up with some condiments? I can, nice. Well, only the bag it came in. Hopefully, the piece of laundry inside is still good. But oh well. Oh. Power usage seems to be within acceptable range. Hmm. Hmm, what does that mean? They're using too much energy. It's like someone's leaving the light on all the time. <laughs> all right. Let's get it back to acceptable. Oh, and... Wait, have I not been here before? I guess not, because it's radioactively fresh. That seems like something that we already saw. I don't know. Okay, so we're behind here now. So let's uh, check this out. And we have... What do we have? Another bathroom. A typical sink, just like the ones in the catalog. Hmm. Can I turn them all on? I can! 
Haha. I never wanted to be a firefighter. I was more partial to the opposing side. <laughs> <clears throat> I've got hoes. In different area codes. <laughs> I don't know what the original translation of that was, but whoever translated it to that was awesome. <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, can we pick it up? I never wanted to be a firefighter. I was more... Oh, okay. But it said that one in ten firefighters are, like, also pyromaniacs, which I guess makes sense. Interesting. What's in here? This is so big. Oh, hello. I am the captain now. <laughs> Wait a minute, the Captain Phillips didn't even come out for years after this, so that's that can't possibly be resting, uh, referencing Captain Phillips. Mr. Harbuck, energize. <laughs> what can I write on it? I can. And the next person that sits down no, on it. No, thank you. Aww. I prefer to meet standing up. Too bad. But it doesn't even show where we rode on. Nothing changed, did it? Oh well. Empty. Hmm. Hello. Anybody in there? No. Buzz off. It's Oscar again. Okay. <laughs> So let's see, let's see what's through here. Oh, hello there. Oh, jeez! Hey, princess. What's a girl like you doing in an asylum like this? A therapist? Wait, don't tell oh. me. Oh. You're Edna. Wouldn't even let right? me answer. Oh, hey, hello. How do you know that? There isn't much that Dr. Marcel can hide from me. So we seem to be fellow prisoners. By the way, people call me the Keymaster. Isn't that the cutest nickname? What else do you know about me? Just that a dark secret links you to the doctor. An unspeakable, dark secret. He spends much time and energy trying to erase your memory. One could even say it is a personal crusade. And the fact that you always find a way to remember drives him to great irritation. Hmm. What else do you know about me? Just that a dark secret links you to the doctor. An unspeakable, dark secret. He spends much time and energy trying to erase one goodie and the fact. Okay, sorry. Do you know how I can get out of here? Yes. What? Yes. I know how you can get out of here. I've had plenty of time to figure out an escape plan. Only problem is, I can't do anything about it in here. You, on the other hand, can move relatively unrestricted out there. And you are clever. Unlike most other inmates. So, what's your plan? First, you must find a way to the other side of the bars. Then, You'll have to make a copy of the master key. We'll be able to get out of the building with that. It opens my cell door, too. Finally, we need a vehicle to exit the compound. Sounds fairly simple, but... How do I get to the other side of the grate? You'll find a way. I'm sure. Maybe through the laundry lift system. There is a third exit in the basement. But please... Don't take any unnecessary risks. If you drop down there without soft padding, you'll break every bone in your body. And that's it for my plan. How very considerate. Thank you. <laughs> How do I get a copy of the Master Key? You'll have to find the original first. Then you'll need clay for the imprint, a furnace to bake the clay, and an easily melted metal to cast the copy. Gold would be perfect. Wow, that's complicated. Where do I get gold? Hmm. Tricky, that. 
Dr. Marcel keeps his polo trophies too securely to get at them. The only alternative I see is Adrian's medal from the Jigsaw Contest. However, Adrian is sitting in his cushion fort in the lounge, like Lord Muck, and he guards himself with this uh, playboy. What's his name? Drogglejock. <laughs> <sighs> oh. Okay, okay. It's on. As stupid as Adrian might be, he has a pretty impressive mind-reading act. It might prove difficult to get the medal from him. Even if you manage to get past Drugglejug. Interesting. Where can I find the master key? That's easy. The guard they call Bladder has it. Bladder is on monitor watch duty in the control room on the third floor. He's far from being watchful. But when it comes to keys, he's a real bulldog. Maybe you can distract him with something. Hopefully. We'll uh, figure that out. Where can I find clay? Good question. The clay from occupational therapy has been completely pounded into ugly ashtrays. You can't use that anymore. But maybe it would help you to know that this asylum has been built on a pretty clay-packed layer of earth. Uh-huh. How do I get a vehicle? Everything in its time. But we're not there by a long shot yet. I think I know what I have to do now. Good luck, Edna. Is there anything else you'd like to know? Why are you in solitary? They think I'm dangerous. And they're probably right. That's all you need to know. Hmm. Is there anything else you know about Dr. Marcel? He is a sick man, guided by hate. Ever since the death of his son, he's been bitter and eccentric. Locks himself up in his secret room and performs these sadistic electric shock treatments on his patients. A dark secret links you to the doctor. He's obsessed with the idea of erasing your memory. Is that enough information? Wow, so uh, his son died, the one that we uh, saw in memories. Hmm. I can do without your help. No, you can't. Yeah, probably not. I've got to go. Give my regards to Lady Liberty. Okay, so let's uh, get away from that creepy stare. There we go. Use up some more electricity. Oh. The models are from the last Miss Mentally Unbalanced pageant. <laughs> it says here that Miss September stabbed her husband and ate the dog. Oh. Yow. You better behave, Harv. <laughs> Talk to calendar. Hello, baby. You better behave, Harv. See, let's you. No, I don't want Harvey to think I'm jealous. Ah. Uh, <laughs> What's this alarm button? What do you think, Harvey? Shall I press it? I'd like to see that. I'm gonna do it. Go ahead, be my guest. I'll do it. I'll really do it. You don't have the guts. I'm serious. Chicken! Chicken! Edna! What huh. now? It doesn't seem to have had any effect. That's too bad. Nothing happened. Alarm! Nothing. All right. So certainly we can't find uh, anything even more strange than what we've already found. Ah. Uh... Hello. They're like two peas in a pod. They're just quite unusual peas. Hi, you two. Hello. Hello and hello. Who are you? I'm Marty. And this is my twin brother, Hadi. We are Siamese twins. But I bet you already suspected as much. You know, there's something that's telling me that might not be the case. Actually, more than just one something, but... You know what? We'll let them believe it. Hadi and Marty? Those are highly unusual names. 
Well, that's because our dad is Japanese. And our mom is of Hopi origin. But you must have suspected as much. You can tell from Hadi's almond eyes. Now, I've seen uh, fraternal twins that are different colors, but uh, nothing like this. Why are you just sitting around here? We're making sure no one steals our bed. But all the beds are the same. Ha! That's what you think. If you know what to look for, there are huge differences. It's like with Hadi and me, there are few people who can distinguish between us. But after a while, you start to recognize the differences. That is our secret twin power, so to speak. We see the differences where others just shrug their shoulders helplessly. Which brings us back to the subject of beds. On first appearance, they all look the same. But this one here... Is the only one with a bed sheet. That does look like a comfy soft bed sheet. Why are the both of you only wearing one sweater? That's a silly question. It's much too warm for wearing two. Oh, that makes sense. You're not Siamese twins at all. Correct. We are actually Siamese triplets. But Brody is away in Paris studying art history. Yes, he's <laughs> always been the strange one. I'm taking off. Will you come along? Um, uh, no. We have the softest blanket in the whole world right here. And where, pray tell, would we go anyway? Hmm. See you later. Rock on. And send my regards to Lady Liberty if you see her. Someone else said that too. Well, I really want that blanket. Let's see, is there anything? Hottie, Marty, Hottie, and Marty. They're like two peas in a pot. Oh. They're just. Hmm. Well, if we can perhaps split them apart and destroy that illusion, we can uh, get that blanket. Here we go. Stop fidgeting for a moment. I have an idea. You're free! Wow! What's going on? What have you done? Are you a surgeon or something? Uh... What's wrong? You're free! Each of you guys can do whatever you always wanted to do. Oh, the wealth of possibilities. And the accompanying pressure that comes with it. Ooh, my. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, basically they just didn't want to animate them getting up, so, uh... What you need to do... Exit. Oh, I thought they'd be gone. What the heck? Are they supposed to be gone? One second. There we go. Now they're gone. I had to enter a few rooms and come back out before they finally left. I don't know why. But, alright. This is by far the softest sheet I've ever seen. Nice, we can use that for a landing. Though I can think of a thousand ways to use it, I still think it's too bulky to lug around. Oh, shoot. Hmm, well, what if we just sent it to the laundry room and it was already there? Then we wouldn't have to lug it around we'd have to make it dirty. So let's look at what we have. Let's see where... These are exceptionally crumbly ones. Hmm, crumbly chips, you say? Well, what happens if we try to use... <laughs> oh, we can use this on that. It's gonna be washed anyway, but uh, might as well... mess it up a bit. Get it nice and dirty, so it has to be sent to the laundry. You're not supposed to eat chips in bed. <laughs> this is by far the softest sheet I've ever seen. Alright. So it's dirty. Let's 
So now let's go to the laundry room and see if it appears there magically. Oh Here jeez, I'm already go. at over 30 minutes. These go by so fast. There's so much to this game. <laughs> Hello, Apu. Oh. Isn't the I have that? Ah, oh. oh, there it is. Oh, that, and you just kind of teleport there. Okay. So, uh, we got the sheet washed, and now it's there to cushion our fall. But what can we do now that we're kind of free again? Well, find out next time on Let's Play Edna and Harvey. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.